Right, so I don't just do computers. Um, Rob Allen sent me this. So as you can see, it's a 5.1 receiver. And he said it's had a problem where it was going into standby while in use and then it wouldn't come out standby. So yeah, fair enough, that's about typical for a 5.1 receiver. So I opened it up, he sent it to me and it's a present, he told me I could keep it. So I've opened it up, it's pretty typical inside and um, didn't see any damaged output transistors and there's no temperature sensor on the heat sink so it's not that it's overheating and uh, it did power up when I had it here and it seemed to operate okay but um, it did did seem to not want to come out of standby every now and again so I had a look inside and I've already taken a PCB off out of the way and I noticed there was a capacitor that was soldered at an angle and I thought okay straighten it up and um, well this is what I found it's completely loose that one was on an angle a bit as well but yeah that's and the thing is is it does have glue well obviously the glue has not been holding it down it's been soldered in at a funny angle and the solder joints have just cracked so and I've looked at the schematic and there is actually a protection circuit that um, will shut the amplifier down if um, one of the oh Jesus I've just noticed something else that's the 12 volt regulator there is <laughs> loose as well God so yeah, so I think between that and this, no wonder it's not working properly. So I can only assume that's a manufacturing defect. So, but there is actually a protection circuit in this um, amplifier which will shut down and make it go into standby if any of the power supply voltages go missing. So that's obviously what happens is um, just the heat is just when it's been operating the heat has just made things move through thermal expansion and these intermittent these joints have been intermittent and they've just opened and that's what's caused it to shut down but yeah that's uh that's that's a bit ridiculous really and um in terms of component quality it's not bad i mean the the output transistors are um it's not going to focus. The output transistors are sanken, and um, these big bulk capacitors are the, these two big ones, the Nichicon, and those are Nippon Chemicon. And there's a couple of other Nippon Chemicons on the board, but there's also a lot of like Leylon brand and other cheapo brand capacitors. Like there's one here. There's what's it called? Fry or something like that, and that one there, Fry. Don't know who the hell they are, but yeah. So, I mean, that heating is not terribly impressive. That has been the only thing actually holding that down, other than the glue, has been the solder joints of that 7812 regulator. So, there's no wonder that's come loose. The heating is not mechanically attached to the board at all. Uh, so I have to have a think about what I can do about that but this, the capacitor is just the, the main thing so so the repair is going to be stripping down this entire board stripping down this main board getting this main board out of the chassis and um, repairing those solder joints so I might do a follow-up video about that if anybody's interested. So yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs>